time. So I want to show you how to bleed your brakes uh, in one person and uh, the easy way. So this is my equivalent to one of those uh, bleeding machines you can buy online, but those are quite expensive in my opinion, they're around 100 euros. And uh, you can make uh, an even better one than those. So what I have here, uh, these are one, one quarter connectors for pressure. And what I have here, it's a gauge, uh, a bottle, it's a normal pet, you can use whatever you have. Uh, this is a tire valve. Uh, this is a connector, uh, it has 6 mm, you can connect to a tire valve. Here I have uh, one of uh, these, 3 connector, 6 mm again, so it goes with this one, and a uh, piece of hose. Then I have uh, a valve, one way valve here, and another 6 mm uh, connector like this, that I connect to my hand pump. This is an 8 mm outside hose with 6 mm interior and it, and it fits exactly here. I use this to pump uh, the pressure in the bottle here because the valve is open from this. And I pump it around 2 or 3 bar or 20-40 psi. And then uh, I have a valve of course. Uh, and, uh, pressure regulator so mine it's set at one uh, one bar for around uh, I don't know it's 15 psi I think yes and uh, basically I just close this pump uh, this to two three bars mine is leaking right now so I, I, I pumped it earlier to three but I, I bled one brake for around one bar and uh, the rest leaked because I have a problem with some of these connectors I'll probably fix it and then you connect this to this with uh, you need a cap to drill a hole in it and uh, this is uh, one quarter outside one uh, eighth inside I will show you once I remove this at the end and then another of this connector so you just uh, unplug it from here with your hand screw it here plug it here uh, release the, the the valve so the pressure goes in one bar and now I'm gonna show you at the brake so you put your wrench on the bleeder valve right here and uh, a hose I also have this this is optional this is a one-way valve so it only flows like this if you this is optional, you don't need this, but this is what I've been using before. If you don't have that contraption, you can just uh, put this and open this and then you just pump your brake because air will not go back. But uh, this version it's easier because you don't need to go into the car and you just uh, release this and the fluid starts to drip. If this was empty, you would have seen it flowing. But I've just finished bleeding mine, so I don't want to do it again. Okay, so this is how you do. I'll uh, put links to the parts, but it's much cheaper and much easier. Like this, uh, you just put your brake fluid in this. You just tap it up. And you don't need uh, another bottle to put fluid. You just use your bottle you buy. You just tap this to the top. Put this, pump it, you just you can keep the pressure you just uh, okay let me show you so you close the valve you remove it from here to release the pressure see the release the pressure it was around one bar and not one to zero we still have around one here and then you just uh, unscrew this you see my fluid level it's almost it needs to be tapped a bit because I just bled one brake and this is how this one looks 
So this is the reduction from one one quarter, one fourth to one eighth. I use the piece of rubber here and a one eighth nut, and then you plug this one quarter into this, and that's it. Much cheaper. Okay, and now just top up this back up screw this and you can do one or two wheels at a time hope it helps like and subscribe if you want to see more